happy weekend. I have quite a few errands to run today. I'm gonna try and knock out a lot of stuff and I'll take you guys along with me. I'm actually gonna make myself some tea, but I wanted to share with you, I got um, a gift for myself from Peak Tea. It's their Ode to Tea gift box. But isn't this the most beautiful holiday gift set? You all know I'm a huge fan of their teas and I needed some more, so I went ahead and got this for myself. I'll open it up and share it with you guys, but isn't it beautiful? I think this would look amazing sitting under the tree just as is. plays Beethoven's Ode to Joy when you open it up. Well, hey guys, I am here in line at the bank teller. The ATM is down, so I'm gonna have to go the old fashioned route, which I have not done in a long time. Anyways, it is a dreary day. I've got my um, UPF 50 gloves on. These are so convenient for driving. They have a little tech, tech nubbins. I need to put them in the washing machine because they're, they're getting a little dirty <laughs> that's the word i'm looking for i i pretty much only wear them in the car um i don't wear them out and about so yeah i mean i wash them consistently although now they look dirty but anyways um oh i'm wearing my cute little animal print what kind of animal is this leopard cheetah i don't know cruelty free <laughs> my cruelty free fur here uh, I got this on Amazon. It's really smooth. I need to get gas today, too, at Costco. I'm on my way to Costco, in case you were curious. You must be new here. <laughs> Where else do I go in these times, especially? That's about the only place that I go to as an extracurricular with everything that's going on. I try and avoid crowds as much as possible. What can you do? Like my gym has opened up, I don't go in my gym anymore. Um, I just, you know, now that I have my treadmill and my rebounder, I just work out at home. And those tone it up workouts have been amazing. I've been loving those. I did one this morning and yeah, they've really been good. Oh, now we're gonna get some rain. I was gonna wash my car, but <laughs> the sky decided to cancel that plan. <laughs> Every time I think to myself, I need to get a car wash, it starts raining, and then I have an excuse not to. Oh, goodness, drive. Right okay? Sounds good, thank you so much. I was going to say, I look good in this drive through lighting. It's kind of like the parking garage. Remember, we had this conversation before about how that's the best place to take a photograph uh, in the car in a parking garage, some, something about the lighting. You, you would never think that, but that's what I've discovered. Got my hand sanitizer here. It smells like Sprite. Um, my dentist gave me this um, the last time I, I went and had a checkup and I keep it in my purse, uh, a little hand, free hand sanitizer, but it smells like Sprite. <laughs> I kind of like it, but I think that's dangerous because a child might come across this and think it is Sprite. It smells like a lemon-lime soda and, uh, you know, kick it back. Yeah, that would not be good. Not be, not be bueno. Mm. I 
am pretty happy with how my tree is coming along. I want to get, I saw these, I saw it on Instagram. Somebody was showing it on their stories. This guy's like, who's she talking to? If you only knew, if you only knew. Do you enjoy your day? What was I saying? Um, okay, let me pull forward so this poor individual back there can get on with their life. Um, I saw somebody sharing on Instagram these adorable, they're sharing it on their stories, these adorable, it looks like something that you would put outside. Anyways, what I was telling you guys, these, uh, somebody was sharing on their Instagram stories the other day, these adorable light up Christmas packages that you can put under your tree. They look really cute. I might spring for them, but I saw on Amazon, they're like 40 bucks. I'm like, okay, do I really need them? If they were 20 or 30 a year, I might even spring for them, but. $40 on a gift that you can't even open. But I think they would look really cute. I think I might go for it. Why not? You know? YOLO. YOLO, YOLO. And this is why I'm glad I put, I started with the decorating earlier than I typically do because, you know, I'm getting my money's worth out of the decorations. Decoration, how, Christmas decorations are not inexpensive, but I'm telling you, I mean, I'm not telling you, this is what any, like, common sense tells you. You should get that stuff after, the day after Christmas to uh, get it on the, you know, get a good deal. Miss my turn. Miss my turn. Although, stop, the, the drizzle stopped. I might actually go get a car wash. Why not? Why not, guys? Why not? Even if it does rain, I feel like my car needs it so much. Um, it's got like, I don't like it to get, it gets like this black stuff on it, which I don't even want to know what that is. Some kind of acid rain or something. Deadly, it's probably mutating the DNA in my keratinocytes every time I open the door. Um, so yeah, okay, let me rinse that off. <laughs> Even if it rains again, you know, at least I've got some of the film off. Some of the film off. I was told that there is a drive through car wash up here that is open. That's been another reason I haven't been doing the car wash as consistently. I can turn you off now. Is that a lot of the car wash drive throughs have been closed. So hopefully this one will be open. I want to get some white vinegar at Costco because you guys, I did something and it was one of those things where you do it and you see the results and you become obsessed with it. I descaled my kitchen sink faucet, um, my kitchen faucet head. I descaled it of uh, buildup, like hard water buildup. OMG, it's like a whole new, it's like a whole new head. I mean, it used to be I would turn the water on and it would kind of spray sort of offhand. Now it's like a smooth stream. So this morning I got up a little bit earlier and I did my shower head. OMG, I should have filmed that. But honestly, I was a little embarrassed. <laughs> at what was coming off like it was nasty I mean it's just mineral deposit it's not like it's you know bacteria or anything but maybe they'll give me a discount because it's kind of raining I'm not going to try and finagle that with a Thank you. 
Well, that was quick and not dirty. <laughs> I will come here again, Mr. Car Wash. I may even entertain the idea in the future of getting my interior cleaned. See if I can't get out the uh, sunscreen stains. You guys are always like, can you please give some tips on getting outside, not getting sunscreen on your clothes and it's like, have you seen my wardrobe? Have we met? Do you know me? Like, uh, that is, that is a uh, lecture I need to attend. But actually a tip is to uh, make sure though that you don't put your shirt on before you put your sunscreen on. That is definitely, I've made that mistake before. And yeah, it's a mess. All right, I just fueled up. Check that off of the to-do list. So we did bank, car wash, gasoline, and now we're going to, uh, we're going to get personal fuel for the week. And probably a bunch of other stuff I don't need. <laughs> Let's face it. As a matter of fact, okay, I've been eyeing at Costco this little sleep pullover. It's like a cross between a robe and a hoodie. And it has a Disney pattern on it. And you guys know I'm not like a Disney enthusiast or anything. If things happen to have Disney on them, cute. But like I don't seek it out. I feel like I need to make that disclaimer. I don't know why. Um, but... It's the same company that makes my, that made my little Disney PJs that are so comfortable. Anyway, it's like a little zip up hoodie. I've seen it in there, I've been eyeing it, and it's been, I saw somebody get one on, <coughs> I think YouTube, and so I kinda want that now. I think I need it. I've been adoring my uh, Carol Hawkman robe. It's pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. Hello. Costco didn't have this one last week, but it's what I was looking for last week for my ballet tree. <laughs> kind of more ballet no, colors, again. the pastels. Costco got in this new Hamilton Beach hand mixer. It's nice because you can store the different attachments inside the base. I really like that comes with seven. Cool. I do not need another hand mixer, but that's a really nice one. The one I have is Hamilton Beach, and I've had it forever, like greater than 10 years. These are the Disney Lounge hoodies I was talking about, except I should have struck while the iron was hot because they're all out of smalls, but they look comfy. Kind of like a cross between a robe and a hoodie. I have the pink I also have Harry Potter. I would get the size medium, but I have a feeling the sleeves are going to be too long and that would get on my nerves. Costco has a nice selection of children's Christmas books. This Home Alone pop-up one is really cute. I love it. also one that's elf. This is, I thought it was pop up, but I guess it's just pop classic. <laughs> I also have How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Santa Baby. This book looks good. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower and um, let me put on my, I am from Rice Toner. As I said last weekend, I've really been enjoying this. Um, today, 
I wore shorts because hello, it's Houston and <laughs> sweater weather is nothing but a candle here. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, I wore shorts today. So I had quite a bit of uh, water resistant sunscreen from throughout the day on my legs. And I wanted to share with you guys, um, I mean, I've talked about it in other videos, but uh, this Eucerin Skin Calming Body Wash is what I've been using to take that off. It is amazing. It's basically a cleansing oil. It's got uh, soybean oil in it, and uh, then it's got some emulsifiers in it to get it to work up into a lather. It's really gentle. Now, uh, it works great for taking off like the water-resistant sunscreen for my body. However, I've tried it on my face a number of times to remove mascara and water-resistant sunscreen. Works well, it's not drying, it's not irritating. But, cuidado, be careful. If it gets in your eyes, it burns like the Dickens. Like the Dickens. I don't know what Dickens burned like. Perhaps a two cities worth of burning? I'm not sure. But yeah, otherwise, this has been amazing. A viewer actually sent this to me and I had kind of forgotten it existed. And I was like, uh, let me give it a try again because I think I had this product confused with something else in my head. Uh, another like, eczema oil type product that didn't work out for me. I think I was getting it confused with that. But anyways, I've really been liking that. Let me put some moisturizer on my face here right quick. Um, as I updated you guys in last weekend's vlog, I've been using the Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer um, and loving it. Oh, what else was I gonna tell you guys? Oh, the other thing I have in here, cause I was just grabbing some clips from my Instagram. I'm gonna do a reels on hands and I wanted to share with you guys, uh, or remind you guys, the Necessaire hand cream. I love this stuff. This is a, Necessaire has put out really good products. I've been impressed with this line. Even their body wash I've tried in the past and I really liked, even though it has fragrance. Um, you know, fragrance and wash off things is less problematic. Um, and theirs is actually really good, very gentle. Um, but their hand cream I've been loving. Super moisturizing, absorbs really quickly. I like um, putting it on throughout the day and then, you know, cause I'm, I'm washing my hands a fair amount and I kind of have to try and stay on top of that lipid barrier issue that is inevitable with frequent hand washing. So yeah, I've really been enjoying that. But then another hand cream that I highly recommend is the Eucerin Daily Hydration SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. Um, this is great. It's got licorice root in it, which is anti-inflammatory, can help calm down redness, and also facilitate skin barrier repair. But speaking of skin barrier repair, I have another product to update you guys on. I've been using this uh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Overnight Hydration Cream. Really been enjoying it. Now, how does this compare to the Hydro Boost Body Lotion? Both are fragrance free. Well, there's a fragrance free version of the body lotion. Anyways, this hydration cream, it's different from that lotion in that um, it has, it has um, polyhydroxy acids in it, which can help gently exfoliate dry built up skin cells as well as hydrate and help with healing. So I've rather been enjoying this. It's nice and lightweight. It absorbs really quickly and it doesn't leave like a greasy residue. Some moisturizers, you know, they kind of, even if you put them on damp skin, which as I've always said is the best way to really get moisturizers to work in your favor. Um, even if you put them on damp, damp skin, I've noticed some moisturizers, they can be, they can dry really filmy and this is not that way at all. Tonight, as I sleep, hopefully my skin will start repairing from some of that free radical damage that hit me in the face uh, today. <laughs> not only from UV, but from pollution. <laughs> uh they're a double they're a double hitter pollution plus uv it's like free radical storm so what i was saying is as my skin repairs itself i'm gonna lose more water out of my skin so grease up to help with that anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's vlog thank you for coming along with me and if you've made it this far thank you for sticking to the end of the video you guys are amazing and if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye